All right, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, so this week's lesson is gonna go with a little video. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to construct models for making a container home. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you the example of how to make the containers. There's gonna be two different types. It's gonna be a 20 foot version and it's going to be a 40 foot version. You're gonna have the equivalent of either four 40 footers or you're gonna have the equivalent of eight 20 footers to use. And I'm gonna show you how to make them both, either the 40 foot version or the 20 foot version uh, out of a single piece of printed paper. So uh, the thing we're gonna start with, we're gonna start with the 40 footer and then I'll show you how to make 20 footer. You're gonna need a couple supplies. You're gonna need uh, about four pieces of computer paper, maybe a couple more. You can use a scissor. Uh, you definitely need some sort of tape, whether it's scotch tape or you know, any type of tape you have around the house. Um, you might need a marker or a pencil, uh, possibly a ruler, depending on uh, how you're gonna do this. But the first thing we do is we set the 40 yard container. So we're gonna do is we're gonna take one piece of printer paper and I'm gonna fold it, what we call the hot dog way uh, in the middle school classes. You really wanna make sure to pay attention to um, the symmetry here. You want to line up your corners as perfect as you can. Uh, and then just right down the middle, give yourself a nice crease and fold the paper in half. And what you're going to do is you're going to open it up, make sure the crease is folded across you, and you want to fold up the paper one more time in each direction towards that center line along the crease. So do it one time, and do it a second time. Now, before you do anything else with the paper, you're gonna crease both edges. So I'm gonna lay flat now, it's about half the size. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna rip yourself two pieces of tape, and you're gonna tape right where the two pieces fold together, the two edges, where they come together along that middle seam. And you just put a piece of tape right across the middle of them, like this. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up. If the tape catches it, you might have to open it up from both sides. But the idea is, you're gonna to start to get the shape of a cube, but to really get it to be a cube, you have to fold it again, but this time you're gonna put the tape on the outside edge, fold it flat, and then just recrease the tape down. You don't have to do anything with this edge. That actually keep it shape. All right, and then when you press back and forth, you're gonna get what's the equivalent of a 40 foot container. Now, <clears throat> put this off to the side, I'm gonna show you like a 20 foot container. To make the 20 foot container, it's the same process to make the 40, but before you start, you wanna fold the paper in half, the hamburger way, all right, or the shorter way. All right, what I like to do is, you're gonna to have to separate these two, this piece of paper into two separate pieces to make the 20 footers. What I'll do is I'll take my two nails, put them together, and I will run them right along the crease. I'll do it in both directions. And then when I open it up, it's folded nice and even. Okay, I take my two hands, and I will separate the paper away from itself, and I call it two equal halves. You can do this with a scissor too if you want, if you're not comfortable doing it that way. All right, once you have this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through the same process we did for the 40. You're gonna fold the paper in half once. Open it, lay it in flat, fold the paper to the center line, spin it around, fold the paper again to the center line. Okay, take a piece of tape, take the two edges together. I do it with two separate pieces of tape. You can try it with one piece of tape if you want. I feel like it's easier with the two. All right, reopen your paper up, put that tape seam to the outside edge and just, you know, press down on that edge. What will happen is it should spring back to basically a 90 degree rectangle or square on the end and rectangle on the sides. So you get your 20 footer. Now, you're gonna be given 160 linear feet. So uh, what we know about distance, you have 40 feet, 80 feet, 120 feet, and this total would make 160 linear feet. 
you're going to build a house out of this. So you got to think about how is it going to function? Do we want to stack four containers right next to each other and have this all's interior space and make like a really big ranch? We want to gain space in some other way. Okay, now you want to think about how do I gain space in other ways? Um, you can gain yourself two floors by stacking these, something like this. Okay. Now that looks great. Okay. Um, but you might be tight. All right, you can separate the containers. All right, and you can build a roof that goes across and a wall that goes in the front and give yourself a lot of open space in the middle, maybe really tall space, okay? You can not do 40s, right? You can maybe do two 40s and 420s, okay? Now, how would you function with the 420s? Now, you have to think about it. You know, maybe make it a different type of shape. Maybe put the 20s this way and maybe a 40 this way or a 40 this way and separate them out. Um, maybe you have 40s on the ends, and for some reason, maybe you want to put your 20s on top, okay? Um, the design's up to you. What I want you to think about is where would your kitchen go, where would your bedroom go? How are you going to use the outside space? Do you want to include like a pool? Do you want to include walkways, All right? This week, what we're going to do is you're just going to uh, watch some videos uh, of the top 10 uh, designs for container houses and watch another video that's going to relate to how container houses are done um, and then you're going to design your own models so you decide do you want four 40 footers do you want eight 20 footers do you want a combination of both it might help out to actually make eight 20 footers and four 40 footers and then start playing with the ideas uh, to get yourself the square footage now what do you want to think about if I put together you know, just four 40 footers right next to each other. Each one of these, you know, if you go 20, excuse me, if you go eight by 40, all right? Think about what eight times four is. Eight times four is 320. So you have 320 square feet in this container. Okay, so 320, 320 is 640. All right, so 640 and 640 is 1280. You have 1,280 square feet. Now, that's great. Um, it's a decent amount of space. But if you want to double that space or make that space bigger, you know, think about how you can change the design, how you can make it um, so you can add extra walls. Now, the containers are the basic shape, but you can also work with the negative um, by adding walls to the outside and just keep the containers for the structure that kind of define the boundaries. So these are some things I want you to think about. Uh, this week, on Friday, what I want you to do is I want you to take a picture of your model. Um, it's going to be a rough design. And then what we're going to do is next week, we're going to start a little drawing that's going to relate to your model. Um, think about and look online. Do some research. There's plenty of these designs out there. You have the equivalent of four 40-footers or eight 20-footers. So there's a lot of designs out there for that. There are tiny houses of these shipping containers where people live in just one single 40-footer. Uh, all right, they make sustainable living in one 20-footer uh, for emergency reasons. So think about it. You're getting a lot of space to deal with. How are you going to use the space? All right. Um, let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, just send me an email.